Sometimes we just have to buy things for our kids because it's cute. No shame in that. Hey guys, and welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today, I'm filming a video that I've been wanting to film for a while. And this is what is on my baby registry. So, um... Let's just get started. So I tried to put all of the essential essentials essentials um, that I need for my little one, and some of the things are definitely wants instead of needs. But I would say that's only like about two percent of the things on here. And if you guys um, think that there's some, some things that I'm missing, please let me know. But yeah, so let's get started. So. The first thing that I would also like to mention is that I use the website called babylist.com. So I'm not even sure how I found this website, but I'm actually so happy that I did find it. Non sponsor, but um, so the reason I decided to use this website is because you know you can use websites like walmart.ca or like Toys R Us or Babies R Us and you can do individual stores but what I like about this website is that you can take items from whatever store you want and put it onto this one website which holds your baby registry um, so that's amazing and because this is an American website um, if I want to put things on there that were from walmart.ca it sent me an email saying that um, they're gonna get somebody on their side to put it onto my baby registry for me and they just did that so there's some things I believe like the soaps that I got from Walmart so um, the first thing that I put on there is the Brune alphabet and number foam puzzle mat from Babies R Us for $16.99 so a lot of these things that I put on my baby registry I will say that they don't have to be exactly that one this just means that I want um, a play mat <laughs> um, I found that one cute and you guys will also realize that a lot of things on my on my registry are gender neutral because we are having a gender reveal party at my baby shower so yes, we know the gender but we're gonna keep things gender neutral for now so then the next thing we have here is the Boone twig countertop drying rack from Walmart for $6.97 and that goes with the thing underneath it which is the Boone Lawn countertop drying rack um, the green and white so self explanatory I'm pretty sure you guys all know what that is if you don't know what it is you can use the green grass thingy looking thing for um, the bottles and other things but let's just say bottles for now and you put them upside down when they're done um, washing or even if you sterilize them you put them upside down and you put the little um, grass in between the bottles so that they stand up straight because um, I find this very important because if you guys have ever ever watched I can't speak today if you guys have ever washed like normal like water bottles and then like you put them in the your regular strainer and they'll like tilt over to the side and then the water builds up and like I don't want that to happen because once you have water build up you can cause mold and even though you don't see the mold it's just very unsterile so this is very important and then the little white stand thing is for the soothers and that's also important because you don't want the nipple of the soother that you just sterilized to be touching like the metal um, strainer that we have for our regular dishes so that one you can just hang it and it will air dry and it's just perfect it's not touching anything it's sterile so the next thing I put is the Jolly Jumper Baby Sitter Nursing Cushion and yeah so this is also self-explanatory what else do you use it for I mean yeah so I'm gonna be breastfeeding hopefully I'm gonna try um, I also want to supplement with um, formula and if I can pump sometimes and give the baby a bottle where Hector will be able to you know bond with the baby and feed the baby as well and not just me because 
feeding is a very big bonding moment and I want Hector to be involved with that so yeah other than that I have the play grow loopy links attach and go toys so again this one is like it doesn't have to be exactly that I'm just putting that so that people can see like oh I want like some some toys to go over our car seat go over our, our um our stroller stuff like that and which we actually already have which is why you won't see it in this registry because we already bought the stroller and the car seat so the next thing that whew, i feel like i have to sneeze okay one way so the next thing that i put is the event flow portable um baby suit classic play yard why do i keep reading them okay I think I'm gonna stop reading them. I'm just gonna say like playpen, okay. Gray playpen, simple. Everyone knows what that is again. It's gonna come in handy. Yada yada yada. Okay. Um then I got this really cute portable swing. I would definitely like to have this one specifically, um, or just something like it. What I did like about this one is how you can see that there's the how do I explain this? It just looks very very sturdy if that makes any sense and i saw ones where it was just like a stick here a stick here a stick here and i don't know that just seems so unsturdy so the fact that there's this little um thing in the middle of it is amazing i find that awesome um if somebody wants to get me like the mamaru that thing's expensive but i really like it but i don't really think it's necessary to be honest this is this is perfectly fine. It's I looked for one of the cheapest ones, the most sturdiest ones, and this is the one that I found. And it's gray, gender neutral, even though, we, again, we know what we're having, but it's a nice one. So the next thing that I put on is the gym little mat. And I got the safari one, because safari is just really cute for kids, you know, like animals. And you never know what animals our baby is going to like. They can like lions and tigers, whatever. Um, and again, that's very gender neutral and it's just fun. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that. And so the next thing is under transportation. So I got the... Not I got, I'm putting on my registry no i put on my registry jesus i can't speak <sighs> so i put the gray and white striped canopy um for our car seat because i just find that these things are really cool and they're definitely becoming like you know more popular Especially because I watch YouTube a lot and I always see like YouTubers using it and I think it should have been a thing a long time ago. It definitely keeps them away from the outside world when it comes to germs. Um, it's great for, you know, if we go to the beach and like there's like mosquitoes and stuff, but, you know, the, the, the baby will be fine in there, won't get any bites, 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 bites. <laughs> bites. Um, yeah, and then when the baby is sleeping, you know, he or she will be able to sleep in the dark, and it's nice and thin, so obviously they can still breathe. So, yeah. The next thing that I put on is the sunshades for the car, because we have a car, obviously, and, um, I don't know. It just seems important to have it. Not really important. Like, again, this is a want more than a need, because I feel like our baby can live without this, but it's a nice asset to have if that makes any sense you know keep the sun out of my baby's eyes i don't want my baby to be blinded by the sun because even i hate that and now again the next thing that i got is this swaddle baby carrier so there's the other baby carriers where you know like the classics where they're just in the front and then like it has a two straps kind of like a backpack but in front of you um i like those ones too so if somebody wants to get me that one that's fine as well but i also like this swaddle one for when they're a newborn and then i would use like that other like strapped one when they get bigger but i really like this because i very like i really believe in swaddling 
and just having them close to me and hearing my heartbeat and bonding with me as a newborn and so i also need a um stroller cover because when it rains and when it snows it's we're in canada and yeah that's just common sense like it's it's kind of needed i wouldn't say that's a want it's a need um i also want to get a mesh one for my grandma's house because we're gonna go visit her this summer hopefully most likely um yeah so when it's hot there you don't want to have that that plastic over the baby because it's just gonna get too hot and the mesh i want the mesh because there are a lot of mosquitoes there and stuff and i don't want my little one to get bit all over so the mesh one will come in handy so the next category is clothing and accessories so i would definitely say that most of these are definitely wants instead of needs um so the first thing that i put were bibs and again it doesn't have to be this exact four like bibs that i put there but and i did put what like five and if you see this is a little side note if you see it, it still says still needs five that's because nobody has like clicked on this to purchase it for me yet but so that's another thing that i like about this website because i can put like oh i need this amount and then people can buy it so yeah and i don't think you can ever have too much bibs bibs are like a necessity so yeah definitely need lots of bibs other than that these next three would definitely be a want but not a need um when it comes to clothing i would definitely love my baby to have the adidas all-stars because i have them and the roots sweatsuit because i have it but i have the pullover sweater this is a zip-up sweater it's just a lot easier to use on a baby um i just find it so adorable like when they wear like root sweatsuits and like oh, sweatsuits are just so adorable so and again this is gender neutral so this is not even giving away anything just because i say i want them to match me like people be like oh my god it's a girl it's like you never know but a boy can wear the tracksuit too a boy can wear those shoes so no hints for you guys <laughs> other than that i did put um a three-piece set and sleepers so i would definitely want some sets of clothing and some sleepers because those are definitely important those are not a want those are a need they definitely need a lot of clothes especially when they're throwing up and you know pooping out of their diapers sometimes unfortunately so babies seem to always be changing their clothes so we definitely need a lot of clothes other than that i put the swaddle blankets um again that's self-explanatory and i already said i definitely believe in swaddling so swaddle blankets <laughs> then you'll see that i also put some more uh sleepers some more bibs and then pacifier clips and mittens mittens are definitely important especially with a newborn because they'll tend to like grab their face and scratch their face and i don't want that that makes me sad because like what if it hurts like it definitely hurts like there's sharp little nails and ugh, always scratching their face or scratching me or scratching hector or sc scratching our family members like i don't want that so definitely a lot of mittens and you need a lot of them because like even though they're wearing it they'll still try to put their hands in their mouth and then those mittens will get all wet and you don't want to have wet gloves on your baby and then you have to change it so you need a lot of them <laughs> and so under the category of feeding you will definitely see bottles so again i'm going to try to breastfeed most of the time and i would say about 75 percent of the time i'll breastfeed but then like during the day i'll breastfeed but um like the first thing they eat will be breastfeeding the last thing breastfeeding during the day breastfeeding but also bottle feeding during the day if that makes any sense i'm gonna try to do a schedule and when my baby comes 
if it works out i will definitely let you guys know what i'm doing um but yeah so i definitely need bottles either if i'm going to you know use formula for supplementing or using my breast milk in the bottles so that help hector can help which i already explained but yeah so bottles and i will definitely like to have either the hard plastic or um the glass bottles just because they're more like you know hygienic and i don't like using like the regular plastic bottles when you're using like heated milk that just no i'm not gonna get too into that but i don't like that so and then other than that it's just the nipples for the bottles will definitely be for breastfeeding babies because surprisingly not not a lot of people know that you're not supposed to use just regular like any bottle nipples like you have to actually choose the right nipples for your baby and you know there's ones for that that try to reduce colic and all these different nipples so i definitely need the nipples that are for a breastfeeding baby so the next things i put are definitely um i would say a want a like it, it could be a need but and i would love it to be a need but honestly i'll just say it's a want um and these are things for later on when they're eating solids so you know six seven months and so these are the little two-pack nibbler so you just put like um frozen fruits inside of those little popsicle makers i guess you can call them and then you freeze them and the baby can just suck on it and it's kind of like a mesh so they're getting the juice from the frozen fruits and it feels good on their gums and all that but it's not going to go through the mesh and make all their clothes and everything dirty which is amazing and then i also put the baby bullet uh baby bullet yeah everybody knows what that is um i would definitely like to make some of my own like purees and stuff for the baby so that should be interesting okay so the these first bowls have the suction on the bottom of the bowls which is amazing because you can just put it to the table you know the baby's not going to lift it up off of their their high chair or off of their the table and make a mess with it and you can also use that for snack time you know putting it like in front of them and just won't hopefully won't make a mess unless they learn how to take the suction off um and then you have the other travel bowls with the lids and um yeah they're just both <laughs> lids and it's good for snacks like when we're on the go and then i also put these clear packages with the lids so that i can use these when i make the purees with the um baby bullet so yeah this section is the bath time section i put 10 things underneath here so i put the robe washcloth washcloths are very important you're using them all the time every day and you shouldn't be reusing them so often because hygienic reasons then i put the lotus bath flower thingy this is definitely a want not a need um but i just find them so cute and like convenient and like it's just i like it um same thing with this sophie the giraffe bath toy um and it doesn't have to be exactly that it can be like other bath toys that will be cool to just like for the baby to like chew on and nothing will happen and then a bunch of soap so like the bath time the bedtime um soap and then the regular soaps and the shampoos and the lotion and the baby oil and the soothing vapor bath and these are all by johnson's because i love johnson's johnson's and johnson's um they just smell great and yes i do know all the controversies about it um but i'm not gonna get into it i've done a lot of research so don't come at me in the comments please but i will be using johnson's on my baby um unless they have a reaction to it so so the next section is diapering i put the wipes because wipes are important um the medicated cream you know diaper cream 
that's important then i got the diaper genie disposal system refills because i do have a diaper genie my friend actually gave it to me for free shout out to her but yeah so um i need the refills because how am i going to use it without the bags right then i put the diapers and again that's just self-explanatory everybody needs diapers and wipes and butt cream and other than that there is the nursery and decoration um section uh this first thing hector hates it he finds it so unnecessary which i get where he's coming from but i just find it adorable <laughs> and so this is the fisher price ocean um aquarium thingy and it comes with a remote control and like the baby can just like look at it in his or hers crib and fall asleep to it i just find it cute like sometimes we just have to buy things for our kids because it's cute no shame in that the ikea um wall storage just so i really want this so i can put like over well, i don't even know where i'm gonna put it but somewhere on our wall so that i can put easy access things that i'm gonna be using all the time so like i'll have like a container in there where it's like a quick grab like like i don't know like uh diapers and wipes and stuff like that so that i don't have to just keep them in the box and then have to go to the box and get the diapers like i just want this to have like the quick grab stuff and then like some blankets like the swaddle blankets it's just a nice storage area so I would really like that then I got a toy bin a white toy bin because all of our furniture is mainly white um, as you can see my vanity up there it's white and I don't ever think that it's too early to start buying a um, toy bin because even newborns have toys like little little toys and like little teddy bears and all that stuff and I don't want them laying around everywhere I'm not gonna put them in the crib while okay my camera stopped recording I don't know where it stopped at but all I was saying is that I'm not gonna put the toys into the crib while the baby's sleeping because that's suffocation and even like when he or she gets older they're gonna want to play and not go to sleep and blah, blah 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 and I'm not gonna just keep them like sitting on the floor like wherever because that's like a mess and I don't want that so yes a toy bin would be amazing it even has like a little like side on the side for like um it's like a little bookshelf and I would love to get lots of books for my child and read them every night or try to do it every night but yeah um so the next section is health and safety so I put a humidifier um infant Tylenol uh a bottle sterilizer by advent and then i also put this vtech um baby monitor which is very interesting just you know the baby can be sleeping in the room and we can have the baby monitor with us everybody knows how a baby monitor works baby monitor baby monitor <laughs> um other than that i put the safety first healthcare kit which just has like all the healthcare stuff so like the little nose booger squisher thingy a thermometer um a little syringe for their medicine and there's a bunch of other things in there but yeah and the last section is called for the parents and there's only three things there for me um so first of all the t-shirt where it says pregnant af that's definitely a want not a need um, I really don't need it, but I just found it cute. If somebody wants to get it for me, go ahead. If nobody gets it, I'm not going to be mad at all. Like, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just found that shirt cute. Then I need, I definitely need nursing pads um, because that's important. And I've actually already started leaking breast milk of my left tip. So definitely going to need to start buying some of these very soon um and then the last thing is this diaper bag oh my gosh finding diaper bags was so hard for me it was crazy because i don't like ugly bags and these typical bags that are at like walmart and stuff like that oh they're so ugly like why are diaper bags so ugly and then the cute ones 
not even good ones like the compartments on the insides are not even good so i'm like oh my god but that specific one that i found it's black it looks like a backpack i can just wear it whenever like it's i can wear it to fancy places i can wear it to the beach i can bring it to the mall i can go just to go to the grocery store it's amazing i love that one that i found so if somebody get gets me that i'll be so grateful oh my god like it's so nice so yeah so i hope this video wasn't too long i really hope it wasn't um if you guys like this video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching Goodbye. Do you guys want to see Bebe? Let's see. Bebe. Bebe is being very heavy. That's my tummy right now. You see my belly button is almost out. But yeah, that's baby. Bye.